Well, a local dog rescue has stopped taking in dogs because they're at capacity. They say they don't have enough people to foster or adopt the dogs they rescue. Nine News reporter Brianna Fernandez is live with us in studio. And Brianna, this organization is really struggling right now. They are, Jordan. So for the past 11 years, Mile High Lab Mission has been able to save thousands of dogs from being put down instead of placing them with families here in Colorado. So far this year, it's been a struggle to continue that mission. We started out this year pretty rough. We are seeing a massive decrease in adoptions and our applications coming through for dogs. The nonprofit had to halt all operations for the time being. That means they won't be able to save dogs from shelters in Texas who are at risk of being euthanized. Now they're focused on recruiting volunteers to help foster dogs and raise money. Every pup who comes in heartworm positive costs the organization around $500. And if they require a trainer, that's an additional cost. And expecting a rescue that's a nonprofit to cover the cost, that's really what's killing us. So last year I mentioned we took back 80 dogs that we had previously adopted out. It really, really was a struggle for us. Yeah, the organization is struggling a lot. So right now other, res uh, other rescues are also in need of help. So if you're looking for a dog, consider fostering or adopting from the nonprofit like Mile High Lab Mission. And if you'd like to learn more, we do have some information on the homepage of our website, 9news.com. Jordan? Yeah. Unfortunately, Brianna, this is not exclusive to just one rescue. We know that a lot of people are struggling with this at this time. Also, if you're willing to foster or adopt, this is a commitment, and that's what rescues want people to know. You can't just keep moving these dogs from home to home we're sending them back. Yeah, the executive director, she was mentioning that they've gotten so many returns from dogs and that's because of behavioral issues. People just lack of training, uh, so they have to handle the cost of that. And then they have more dogs in their rescue. So right now they have their hands full. Yeah, but we know adoption can be a really great thing. Brianna, thank you.